Well, let's dig into this a little more deeply in Washington. Now is our special correspondent, Philippa Thomas. Philippa. Mike, we want also to look at the argument that uh, President Obama promised to close Guantanamo. This is supposed to be the beginning of the end of Guantanamo, uh, but it worries many who focus on human rights, including my guest here, Sarah Mendelssohn, Director of the Human Rights and Security Initiative at the Center for Strategic and International Studies. Sarah, you told me you were not surprised, but disappointed. Why? Well, we have no problem in general with pre-trial detention or post-conviction detention, but the idea that you might use Thompson in Illinois as a place to detain detainees from Guantanamo without charge doesn't seem like a good way to close Guantanamo for exactly the same reason that Guantanamo was a recruiting tool for Al-Qaeda. Detaining people without charge is not a good national security strategy. Great play has been made by the White House, including today as they defended uh, this move, saying, look, Guantanamo Bay it has become iconic for all the wrong reasons. It's a recruiting tool for Al-Qaeda. It is, but it's not just the facility, it is the concept of Guantanamo. Uh, it is absolutely about detaining without charge individuals for years on end. And if the administration comes to the determination, they've reviewed the files, they're releasing and transferring some, they're prosecuting some, and we welcome very much the uh, prosecution in the Southern District of New York. We think that that's a way towards justice. But if they then also dis decide to move a large number, any number, of detainees to Illinois for uh, detention without charge, then it's not really as much closing Guantanamo, perhaps, as moving it. But in practical terms, we hear there are maybe 30 to 60 inmates, detainees, whom the administration really feels can't be tried and can't be released. In practical terms, what do you do with them? Well, first of all, that concept of somebody who's too dangerous to release but you can't prosecute is alien in the American conception of law. So that's problematic. I understand that there may be some sensitive cases, and we were recommending that the administration send out prosecutors and FBI to see if they can get more information. If they can't... Surely if they've tried that, they would have the well, evidence we by now. We don't know. We don't know. I mean, I think it's a, an important question to ask. But I also think we might think about an international uh, meeting looking at the Yemenis. A lot of these people are probably Yemeni detainees. The administration doesn't want to send them to, to Yemen. So it is a Euro-Atlantic problem to try and think through together what might be a smart answer, and reintegration programs are one that we've heard talked about a lot, but we need to invest in one. Sarah Mendelson, thanks very much for your thoughts. And Mike, whatever happens, I think it's safe to say that Guantanamo will not be closed when we get to the anniversary of President Obama's inauguration. Thank you. Indeed. Philippa, thanks to you both for that.